beaches or mountains, cats or dogs, and now Barbie or Oppenheimer. If you're on the internet, you cannot escape this question. Both movies released this weekend. Barbie is doing better overall, but in India, Oppenheimer has pulled ahead. Just one problem though. The movie has offended people in India, including Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Thakur. He's upset with the censor board. He wants a certain scene to be deleted. Which scene? Well, time for some context and therefore spoilers. Around 20 minutes into the movie, there is an intimate sequence, a sex scene. It involves Oppenheimer and his mistress. Midway through the scene, the woman gets up and walks over to a bookshelf. She picks up a book. It's the Bhagavad Gita, a Hindu religious text. Now, Oppenheimer could read Sanskrit. He often quoted from the Bhagavad Gita. In this scene, the woman asks him to read from it. He does so, and the intimate sequence resumes. Now, I have to tell you this. This is the PG-13 description of what happened. That's parental guidance for viewers under 13 years of age. The real version is rated R. It's very explicit and provoking. And a lot of people on social media are not happy about it. They say the movie is an insult to Hinduism. Clearly, the government feels the same way. Let's look at the technicalities first. Oppenheimer is rated R in Western countries, meaning it is restricted for children and teenagers. But in India, the movie is rated UA. What does that mean? UA means unrestricted public exhibition. Children above the age of 12 can watch it alone. What explains this contrast in ratings? Well, the makers of the film made some cuts for India, some voluntary cuts. And thanks to those cuts, the movie got the UA rating. But the Bhagavad Gita scene stayed in. Clearly, the makers and the censor board thought it was fine. But does the audience agree? Well, this is where public opinion is divided. One section says, what is the big deal? It's just art, watch it and forget it, move on. Another section says, it's religion and faith. You cannot use art as an excuse to insult it. So which side is right? I think we can all agree that freedom of expression is not limitless. Your words have consequences. Your actions have fallouts. So the line must be drawn somewhere. The only question is where. Is combining nudity and the Bhagavad Gita beyond that line? Well, for many Indians, yes, it is. There are thousands of people who read the Gita every day, who live by its lessons, or at least try to, who consider it pure and inviolable. For them, this is an insult. It's like demeaning their belief system. Does that mean we should censor this movie? Well, the government certainly thinks so. They seem to be keen on it. Reports say some officials at the censor board could be in trouble. The government wants to know why this scene was not removed from the film. We'll have to wait for their explanation. In the meantime, let's focus on the filmmakers. They chose self-censorship in India. No one asked them to snip or blur anything. The makers did it themselves. Why? Because they wanted to reach more people, a wider section of the audience. They wanted fewer restrictions. Why not do the same for the Bhagavad Gita scene? It has zero impact on storytelling. The makers wanted to show Oppenheimer's proficiency in Sanskrit, his interest in the Gita. Great. But why do that in the middle of a sex scene? I'm sure he read the Gita elsewhere too. So the makers made a conscious choice. They decided to fetishize a holy book. It was the Bhagavad Gita in this movie. Could it be the Bible or the Quran in the next one? And I wonder how that will go. Our question is quite simple. What is the point of this? Is it just to insult and provoke? Because this scene is not fundamental to the story. It doesn't question religious dogmas or customs. Neither does it pose any important questions. It's just there for the sake of it. And we get that movies have always pushed the limits of what is acceptable, sometimes with great results. They've questioned blind faith. They've ripped apart oppressive customs. But all of that had a reason. It had logic. In this case, there seems to be none. While writing any scene, filmmakers usually ask questions like, why is this happening? Why is the character doing what he or she is doing? In this case, the question seems to be, why not? Why not fetishize the Bhagavad Gita? Why not provoke? Well, this provocation for the sake of it is problematic. And it can be a slippery slope on matters of faith and insensitive societies. So what's the solution? Maybe try to understand Indian sensitivities better. See it 
as more than a big market for your movies. Try to understand the pulse and respect the faith. If not, this won't be a one-off. As for the Censor Board of India, they have questions to answer. Their job is to strike a balance, promote art and expression, yet ensure that no one is insulted. I'm not saying it's an easy job, but they signed up for it. And in this case, they've messed up.